Hey there, my name is JP and I'm an educator for Weavy8. In this video, I want to show you how to create a collection with the new v4 Python client for Weavy8. I'm a huge fan of this client because of the way it reduces my cognitive load and difficulty in working with things like creating collections. And hopefully by the time you're done watching this video, you'll agree with me as well. So let's get started. Here I'm working with a data set of movies from TMDB. I've got a set of movies and a set of reviews, so let's create two collections to go with that. Let's import Weavy8, and we'll create a connection. I'll use embedded Weavy8 just for convenience. Let's create the reviews collection first. I need to create properties now. So I'll need to specify a list of properties like so, and there's a custom class called property to use. I need to import these classes. So what I'll do is I'll import them as a set from weaviateclasses.config as wc. And what I can do now is to use that and use the property, call the property class from here. And let's specify the name, which will be title. I need to specify the data type. And again, I can use our import just now. Specify the data type, which is an enum as text. Oops, that should be username. That'll be content, which is the content of the review, and DID. Now, the username doesn't mean a whole lot, so I'm going to skip vectorization. Um, before I'd have had to remember what the parameter for that was, but now I can just look up the word skip, select that, set that as true, and let's do the same thing with the ID. Cool. And I want to specify a vectorizer, so I'll look up the vectorizer config parameter. Isn't this nice? And I'll use the configure dot vectorizer, and let's use cohere today. And for our generative configuration, we'll do the same thing, but instead of a vectorizer, I'm configuring a generative module. So I'll say generative dot, let's use OpenAI for this. And that's it, that's our reviews collection configured. And we can do the same thing with, or similar thing with movies. Create, the name will be movie, of course. And let's specify properties like we've done before. So that'll be WC property name equals, that should be title this time. Data type is WC data type text. And let's copy a few of those because we want to import a few properties. So we have a tagline, we have an overview. We have a vote average. Now that's an average score. So I believe that's a floating point number, which is number in Weavy8. We have a release date, which should be a date, of course. So we can operate on them. We have a runtime, which is an integer. We have an IMDB ID, which is handy if you want to look it up on IMDB. And that's also text. Um, that's just an ID. So I'm going to, again, skip vectorization. Let's add, it looks like I forgot the TMDB ID, so let's add the TMDB ID here as well. I believe that's an integer, so let's specify it as such. Um, and let's just use the same configuration for our modules here. Oops. And that goes at the end of our list. Now I want to do one more thing here, which is to configure the inverted index. So again, all I need to do is look up the right parameter by, there we go, inverted index config, and I'll use the same configure gen, uh, factory, and I believe there's an inverted index function, here we go. And what I'm going to do is to invert the property, sorry, to index the property length, set that as true. And down here, I'll show you how to create uh, set the vector index configuration. So again, that's wc, configure, vector index, uh, let's use hnsw, and 
once I call that function, I can do things like set the distance metric. Um, I'll just use the standard one, but I'll show you that where the where to set that, and that'll be in WC, vector distances, and that's an enum again, so I can set that as cosine. See how little typing I had to do along the way? This is really, really nice. Let's do one last thing, which is to create a cross-reference between the movie and our views. So that'll be references equals... Now, again, I don't quite remember what the class is called, but I can just have a look within the WC submodule. And if I just search for the word reference, here we go, I can find the right class. Let's call that, uh, it's movies. It's going to have some review, so it's called it has review. And what's the target? Well, that will be our review collection. Now I'm going to do just one more thing, which is to close our connection. It's not a big deal if you don't do it, um, but it would be best practice, and we do recommend that you do that with the new v4 API. And that's it, we're done creating our two collections, including references between them, and all these properties in just a couple of minutes. That's it for our collection creation. As you saw there, I didn't have to do a lot of manual specification of parameters and so on. For me, that's been a great benefit in using the new Python client over the old one. It reduces my cognitive load in not having to remember these parameter names as I work with the data, and I think it will be for you as well. So check it out and let us know how you go. Next, we'll have a look at some data imports.